Okay, let's try this again, shall we? I tried filming this bit a minute ago, well, a while ago, but my camera battery died, so I had to charge it. So let's try this again. This is the next part of my collection inventory series, and this is my foundations. Um, I'm going to dump them out. Okay. This tub I got at Target after Halloween clearance years ago. It was like grade school. So, um, but yeah, it works really well for my foundations. And it's always been handy for storing things. So, that's that. I'm just going to grab these. I'm going to try not to go into too much detail so this doesn't take forever. And I'm just going to grab them and start stacking them back in. First one is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Um, I love this. This is what I use for photo shoots. I also use it when I'm testing out like a new primer or powder because I know how it reacts and I just love how it looks and feels on my skin and how well it matches. Um, let's see. Do you have anything else high end? I think that's the only high end foundation I have right now unless you count MAC. I would count MAC. Um, I have the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. Uh, there are some more high-end foundations that I um, I like. I've had samples of. I just need to actually buy them. I like this a lot, about as much as the Naked Skin. Maybe vaguely under. Um, and I can't use it for photo shoots because it has SPF in it. And um, the foundation itself was a gift, but Alex bought the pump for me. So I guess it was technically a gift, but whatever. The foundation was from a photographer uh, who didn't realize you can't use SPF. This you can't use SPF in shoots. Um, anyway, this is the Noni Cream Color Prevails Foundation. You can get this at Walgreens. Um, I usually get the lightest color. My Urban Decay Naked Skin is 1.0, and it's pretty perfect of a match. My Mac is NW13. And it's a really good match as well. I mean, I know a lot of people are familiar with those numbering systems, so that'll give you an idea. Um, the drugstore ones, which is pretty much the rest of my collection, don't always match me perfectly. But I'm of the opinion that I don't really care if it's too light, so... And this one's in number 01 porcelain. Oh, we have a kitten. Hi, kitten. Um, okay, so... This is the... Nuance Salma Hayek Flawless Finish Liquid Foundation, and I've got this in Light Warm 270. You just don't know what to do with yourself, do you, little kid? That's Phobos, if you haven't met him yet. Okay, this is the Essence Pure Nude Makeup. Um, this is in number 20, Pure Sand. When I got this, all I had seen it was one specific Target. Ulta didn't have it, and they didn't have it on Essence's website. It's now on Essence's U.S. website, so if you can't find anywhere else, it is there. Um, I really like this. This is another one of my top ones. Um, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in number 10 porcelain. Um, I think this one, yeah, this one does have sunscreen in it as well. I don't think any of the other ones I've mentioned so far do. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And this is in number 110 porcelain. The pump came from beautymp.com. They have pumps for almost almost any foundation on there. And so this one, I either need to finish it or buy a second pump for this one, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, which is also in 110 porcelain. Um, I need to get a pump for this one. The Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation, number 91, Light Ivory. And I'm kind of jealous that if you, from what I've seen from British YouTubers, it comes with a pump over there, but here it doesn't. But, oh well. And then this one I also need to get a pump for. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection. Um, it does have SPF in it, and it's number 100, Ivory. Um, this one is the Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation. It's number 120 Ivory. It has, like, this, uh, spatula petal kind of thing. And I can only find this at Walmart here. I don't know if in other places it's easier to find, but Walmart's the only place I can find this one here. Um, 
I've got the NYC Smooth Skin Liquid Foundation. This is their lightest color, um, 677 Regular Nude. It's a little dark for me, but I can work with it. And it also has one of those spatula paddle things. Then I've got the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. This has sunscreen in it. And it is in number 805 Ivory, it looks like. I've got the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This has sunscreen in it. Otherwise, I would use it. I would have used it for photo shoots before I got the naked skin. And this is in number W1 Porcelain. And again, the pump is from Beauty MP. This one, um, if you get the pump for this, don't travel with it because it kind of leaks. If you can kind of see that. Um, or put the pump separately when you travel because I've had it leak all over my makeup case and then after that I put it in a Ziploc bag and it leaked all over that. So, that's that. This is another one from Walgreens. It's the Circa Color Balance Liquid Foundation in the color 01. Um, this is a touch dark on me, but not as bad as the NYC and it's definitely work Uh, saying that I did have the Milani foundation at one point, but the lightest color was ridiculously too dark. It was like three to four to five shades too dark for me, so I returned it. Because I'm not keeping a $10 foundation that I can't even force to work. So, next is Hard Candy Glamouflage. Another one I really like. This one matches me quite well. Um, and it's in number 930 Porcelain. Uh, da -da -da. This is Wet n Wild Ultimate Match Foundation. It's an 852A Ivory. And it's got SPF. I've, I've only heard like one other person on YouTube even mention this. And it was because she was tossing it in her empties because she couldn't get it out. Now, this does have a stopper on it if you look at it. Like how a lip gloss would. So I'm guessing that's part of the problem. This I've only ever seen on Wet n Wild's website. I am not giving up on this because, I mean, I paid for it and I want to use the stinking thing. So, Beauty MP does not have a pump for this, but I'm going to try and find one that will work and yank the stopper out so I can use this. Um, then the last one in a stand-up glass bottle is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is brand new. They just came out with it. This is in the color Porcelain. I've only used this once so far, but I really liked it. It has one of those spatula things in it. And it smells like paint. And I know it's not because it's gone off because it's brand new. And I had Alex sniff it and he's like, it smells like a freaking can of paint. So, yeah, but I like the finish and everything. So, so far, I really like it. Okay, and then I've got this Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. This is in the color 150 Buff. Um, this is what I was using for photo shoots before I got the naked skin. And you can see I've made a fair dent in it. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it for every day, so I'm going to have to test test it out some more. Um, this was not my most smart idea. Okay, and then all we've got left is these ones in the tubes. Um, this is Wet n Wild Intuitive Blend. It's supposed to be shade adjusting, and it's supposed to be foundation and primer. This is fine. I just don't like that because it has the little beads in it that make it the right color, I can't really use my beauty blender because it won't work, but I got this off their website. Oops. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation, and this is in the shade 815 Fair. I'd had this before years and years ago before I really got into makeup, and it didn't perfectly match my skin, so I returned it, but I got it again this past year now that I am into makeup because... I've realized that while it doesn't match my skin perfectly, that's more because of the undertone. And with some powder, I can make it work. So I need to work on this some more. Then I've got the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. This is in 05 Warm Porcelain. Um, I had gotten this at CVS, and their lightest shade that they carried at my CVS was way dark for me, so I returned it. And I was able to find this. I don't even remember where I got this specific one. But this shade does work for me. I really like this. I like the texture of it. Um, 
It does not work over silicone primer though, which makes me sad, but it does not need a powder to set it, which is nice if I'm going to a family thing, like I wore this for my great grandma's funeral. It's something where I can travel without makeup on, slather this on my face and my fingers, wash my hands and be done, and it's not a 20 minute process, it's a 5 minute process. So, and I can say the same things about this, although I need to test this one more than I have that because I haven't tested as much as I have this one. But this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in 010 Light Porcelain. This seems to have the same qualities as the Maybelline, but like I said, I've tested the Maybelline more. And then I've got two more, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 101 Classic Ivory. Really liked this, and surprisingly really liked the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 201 Classic Ivory as well. I did not expect to like that as much. Now the Pro Glow has sunscreen in it and I don't